Hi and welcome to Senior Shape. I've got a great Pilates workout for you today, all done in a chair. All the exercises will be done in a seated position. Perfect if you have bad knees or you're not comfortable getting down on the floor. If you like my yoga videos, you're gonna love the seated Pilates as well. Go ahead and get a sturdy chair, not a couch today, and make sure that chair does not have any arms. We'll be doing some movements that are side to side. Getting started, we're sitting up nice and tall, making sure that our backs are not seated up against the back of the chair. Your knees are directly in front of your hips, bent at a 90 degree angle, and those ankles are tracking directly underneath your knees, toes are facing me. Sitting up nice and tall. Pilates, we focus a lot on the core, our power center. So I want you to think about all throughout the whole workout, keeping that belly button drawn into the spine. We're gonna take a deep breath, Arms go up, inhale, exhale, arms come down. Again, arms come up, inhale, exhale down. One more time. And arms come down. Roll those shoulders down and back and let the arms just fall casually to the sides. Palms are facing in, shoulders are pushed down and back. Coming onto the tippy toes, lift those heels squeezing the calf muscle and then slowly lower down. We just lift and lower, coming up directly onto the ball of the foot, making sure the ankles don't roll in or out. So waking up those legs, lift and lower. Four more here, three, squeeze, last one. Bring those arms all the way up, palms facing me. And then I want you to bring them down behind you, opening up that chest and squeezing the elbows back. So you're thinking about squeezing the shoulder blades together behind you, and then come back up. Exhale, squeeze down and back, feeling that chest open up and squeezing that upper back. Good, lift, squeeze it back. So good for our posture. Squeeze it back. Let's add that heel lift with these arms and pull it back. Reach nice and tall. Keep the core engaged. And give me one more here. Extend the arms out to the side, palms facing down. Really stretch your fingertips out to the side. And then I want you to drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Stretch the arms out nice and long. You should feel that all the way down to your fingertips. And then slowly drop your chin down to your chest. Let's roll to the center and then pick that chin back up. Other side. Right ear to the right shoulder, reaching long through those fingertips. Roll that head down to the angle, feeling a beautiful stretch in the back of the neck. Roll it down to center. And then let's pick that chin back up. Resting our hands on top of our thighs. Inhale. As we exhale, I want you to pick up your chin and then drop your chest forward. Then drop your chin and round that back up. One vertebrae at a time. Kind of like a seated cat cow. Chest comes forward, chin comes up. And then reverse it, arch that back. And roll it up. That should feel really good. A few more. Waking up that torso, roll it up, tummy in, articulate through that spine. Good, again, all the way forward. Maybe make this second to last one a little bit bigger. And one more time, chin forward, chest forward. Drop the chin, belly in, and roll it all the way up, finishing with a nice big shoulder roll down. Taking the arms back out to the sides. We're gonna rotate those shoulders. So palms face back to the wall, and then they're gonna face all the way up. We're reaching our fingers out all the way towards the sides. And I want you to really make sure that you're rotating from that shoulder and not just from the wrist or the elbows. Nice. Make these as big as you can. You should really feel those muscles working and it's a really good stretch back and up. Give me four more. Three, 
to hold the palms back on this last one. Make sure your shoulders are dropped down and back. And then I want you to push the palms back. Back like you're pushing away from something behind you. Push, push. Again, you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. You should feel a lot of heat back there. Almost there. Give me four, three, two, and one. Keep the arms lifted, palms down, and circle forward. Now the body's smart. I know the shoulders want to help here. Don't let them creep up here. Keep them down and back. Think of a nice long spine and a tall neck. Forward, four, three, two. Let's reverse it to the back. Just little circles. Elbows are 98% straight. You've just got a little micro bend in them. Reach it long, almost there for four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Shake that out to release it. Let's go ahead and lift the arms back up nice and tall. Tummies in and just alternate some knee lifts here. So we're going to be using our hip flexors a little bit here, but I really want you to think about the core. So our belly button is drawn in and we're actually using our abdominals to lift those knees. Arms are still reaching tall. If they're too tired, go ahead and drop them. A few more here. Then hold that left leg in, lower the arms, and let's hug that knee in towards the chest. Keep that spine lifted, try not to round it. Nice stretch here for the glute and thigh. And let's release it down. Inhale, arms come back up. And same thing, we're gonna lift those knees. Taking nice deep breaths. Again, tighten that tummy. Keep reaching nice and tall with those arms if you can for four, three, two, one. Then hold that right leg in for that nice stretch. Good, inhale. And exhale. Sitting at the edge of our chair, I want you to open those legs up as much as it's comfortable for you. So you should feel a nice stretch in the inner thigh. And again, our knees are bent at a 90 degree angle. Using our hips and our glutes back here, I want you to open up those legs. So think about pushing your knees back, but we're squeezing the back here. So our move is originating from the glutes, right? From our seat. So really think about isolating that movement. Push the knees back and back. It should feel nice and warm right back here. Give me four three, two, and one. Hold them back. Arms come out to the side, stretch nice and long. And I want you to lean over here, reaching your hand towards your foot. Maybe gaze up at your top arm, and then we can come back up. Also the option to reach behind your knee if you can't get it in front. Then we're gonna torso twist all the way over, keeping our arms straight and long, and coming back to center. So again, we reach down and lift, twist, and center. Down, lift, twist, and center. You should feel a great stretch in the inner thigh here as well. Keep reaching long. We've got one more on this side. Release those hands. One more set of those knee pushbacks here. Again, push them back, push them back. Think of like a little butterfly's wings. Squeeze those glutes behind you. That should be really warm back there. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold those knees back. Arms come back out. Let's go ahead and reach to the right side now. All the way down, top arm comes up, back to center, and then we twist it back. We come down, left, twist, and center, belly button in, tighten that core, 
That's where I want you to feel all these moves right now. Those obliques are helping lift us back up. Certainly not the lower back. We've got one more. Side, center, reach, and back. Release the hands and let's toe heel, releasing those legs. We're gonna go ahead and stretch those hips a little bit later. I want you to lean back into your chair now. So it's almost like a little C-curve slumped position. So the top of your back is just against the top of the back of your chair. Elbows are coming behind, out nice and long to the side, fingers behind the head. And then we're gonna reach our elbow to the opposite knee. So your right elbow to your left knee and a little crunch. Same side, nice twist here for the core. Make sure that you open your elbow all the way back out to the side every time. Twist. And it's okay if your elbow doesn't meet your knee. Just do what you can. Two more. And other side. Pull the elbow towards that knee. Think about using those lower abdominals. For three, two, and a few more. Let's do alternating just for eight. Breathe, six, four, last two, and one. Relax those hands. Nice deep breath. Allow that core to relax just a minute because we're about to work it. Get a little bit deeper into that core. Go ahead and hold onto the sides of your chair here. We're still in a little reclined slope position. Holding onto the sides of your chair, I want you to lift both of your legs up. Tummy is pulled in nice and tight. I want you to flutter. Just flutter kick those legs. Hold it here for four, three, two, and freeze, we're gonna take them out and cross, out and cross, ouch. I know, they don't have to be so high, but try to get them up off the floor. You're breathing, your tummy is pulled in. Four, three, two, and one, relax them down. Sit up in your chair again, reach your fingers all the way forward on top of your knees. We're gonna do a little body weight tricep push up here. So all I want you to do is release the core. We just worked that, and I want you to really use your triceps. We're going to lower the entire forearm down to our thighs, and just using the back of our arm, push through the palms to push yourself back up. Keeping our back nice and straight, all I'm doing is lowering my elbows and then push back up. So you really have to think about the muscles that we're using here, the tricep, the muscle in the back of the arm, and push. So don't use your abs, don't use your lower back, and push. So we're using our body's own resistance here. You've got to make this work for you. With any workout, you're going to get out of it what you put into it. And push, pretend that you're pushing a 50 pound weight away from you. Give me one more. And push it up. Nice job. Guess what? We're doing that one more time. So coming back into our chair. Wiggle on down. Holding the sides. Activate that core again. Pull the belly button in. Extend the legs straight out in front. And we do the flutter kicks. Hold it here. Tummy in. Nice and tight. Think about dropping that rib cage. Don't let it flare out. And then you've got the correct position. All right, here we go. Open and cross, open and cross. <sighs> Breathe. Stay with me. Four, three, two, and one. Release. Help yourself sit up. And we've got one more set of those triceps. 
hands reaching long, spine long and straight, neck is tall. Here we go, drop those elbows, push back up, lower down, push, and down. Once you guys get the right feeling on this, this is a great exercise to do at any time in a seated position. Maybe if you're watching TV, just to do something to really activate those muscles. I love Pilates because it really works the back of the body, which we tend to neglect. We tend to overwork the front side of our body, kind of forget about what's happening in back. So important. Push, give me two more here. Lower down and push, lean forward with that straight spine and push it up, shake it out. Nice job. Okay, coming back, so about half your thigh is on the seat of that chair, but try not to let your back touch the back. Again, sitting up nice and tall. We're really gonna work our quads now. Strong quads are perfect for our, um, the strength of our knees. So the stronger our quads are, the better off we are with our knees. Sitting up nice and tall, I want you to lift just the right leg, squeezing the muscle here, right here on top. And our arm is gonna, opposite arm is gonna come out to the side. Lower that foot down, reach the arm in front, and then we open both out again. Forward with the arm, lift the leg, arm comes to the side. And forward, and left. Lift, feel a beautiful stretch right here in front of that shoulder. And again, you're being mindful of maybe giving that upper back a little squeeze behind there. And let's switch to the other side. Reach the right arm forward. It comes out as your left leg comes up. You can always just do one of these movements too. If you're picking one, I would do the legs. Squeeze, mind and where that muscle is. Think about what we're working. Lift and lower. Three more here. And then we're gonna double it up. Release that arm down. Keeping your legs parallel with some space between them holding onto your chair, check your posture, we're nice and tall. Lift both legs, squeeze, and lower down. Lift and squeeze, lower down. You know we're starting to fatigue a little bit and your back wants to round. Keep it nice and tall and strong. On this last one, I want you to hold those legs up and then we're gonna take them out and in, out and in. So we're using those hip abductors and adductors, pulling the legs out and in, inner thighs, outer thighs. Three, two, last one. Now we've got a combo. So we're gonna drop the knees, the feet, lift, then we go out and in. Lower, squeeze those thighs, out and in, down and left. So again, we're using our body's own resistance. The tighter you squeeze those thighs, the better you're going to work them. Out and in, down, lift, out and in. Two more, down, lift, down, lift, out and in and lower down. Coming a little bit farther forward in your chair, I want you to put your heels together and your toes apart. We're gonna do some calf raises, but this in a turned out position. So think about turning out all the way from your hips. You're gonna have to readjust your glutes in that chair there. And we're gonna come up onto our tippy toes and then maybe readjust so your heels are together. Lower the heels and lift. We lower and left, down and left. You should feel this in your calf muscles and maybe again, a little bit in the inner thighs or quads that we just worked. Lift onto those tippy toes, working it in a different position here for three, two, 
and one staying in that turned out position same combination keeping those heels glued together we're going to lift the legs and again we're turned out so think about instead of our knees being pointed towards the ceiling try you know they're pointed towards the side so if you start parallel turn them all the way out from the hips okay and then we keeping the heels glued together we drop tap the toes lift and squeeze down and squeeze down and squeeze isn't that amazing how different that feels just by turning our legs out and switching that position it's not easy stay with me for three two and one here we go legs go out and together keep that turn out as much as you can so think about just putting those heels together keeping them lifted good four you know what's coming next putting that together for a combination here we go drop the toes tap them lift and squeeze out back in down and tap out and in tap lift out and in so good you guys this is the last harder thing that we're going to do today then we've got some great stretches after this three more squeeze out together point squeeze heels together last one lift out in and lower down nice job that was some good work for those legs okay a lot of work also for the hip flexors so what i want you to do is to come forward in your chair and we're going to turn all the way to the side both knees that are at a 90 degree angle still sitting up nice and tall hold on with the back arm to the back of your chair and then i want you to drop this front leg so both knees again are about a 90 degree angle this might be enough for you what a, what we want to stretch is that hip flexor right here tight hip flexors come from sitting all day long and tight hip flexors can also cause lower back pain really important to stretch them out if you'd like to intensify this stretch you can simply take this front leg and extend it further behind you I don't want you to feel this in your lower back so just go as far as you feel that nice stretch big deep breath as that front arm comes up inhale and we're going to exhale and lean towards the back of your chair and feel that beautiful stretch intensify that feels so good come back up lower that arm let's bring that front leg back in and let's swivel around to the other side both knees at a 90 degree angle hold on to the back of that chair dropping that front leg again knee comes towards the floor again this might be enough if not we're going to extend that leg a little bit farther front arm reaches up nice and tall big inhale and exhale as we lean over to the side reach it back up inhale exhale lower the arm and let's bring that front leg back and we'll swivel back to the front my favorite stretch that I think I do in almost all my videos is the figure four so we're going to take this right leg this ankle and put it on top above the knee making sure here that everything again is at a 90 degree angle the ankle is underneath that knee if this is uncomfortable for you or it's just not possible you can extend that leg and cross at the ankle or the shin and you will still get a similar stretch so whichever way you're comfortable with and this may be enough i'm certainly feeling it right now in my glutes and in my hips flex that foot that protects the knee joint from moving around sitting up nice and tall inhale and if you would like to intensify the stretch we can slightly hinge forward with a nice straight or neutral spine so don't round the back here let's sit up tall and let's do that one more time big inhale exhale lean forward if you like with a nice proud chest 
Shoulders are down and back. And come back seated up straight. While we're here, let's take that left arm and take a nice twist around. Maybe your back arm can come all the way in back of the chair. Great little spinal torso twist here. And come back to center, other side. Release that leg down. Left leg is gonna either cross here at the shin or ankle or picking it up and putting it above the knee. Flexing that foot, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale and exhale, lean forward if you like. This should feel really good after all those knee press backs. Come back up one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Nice proud chest forward. Sitting up nice and tall again. Let's twist the other direction. Breathe here in. And out. Back to center. Let's release that leg. Feet are hip width apart again, underneath those knees. We're just gonna do a forward fold here. So just coming all the way over, nice and slow, releasing any tension in that lower back. Go ahead and drop the hands all the way to the floor. Some nice deep breaths. Again, go ahead and round that back. Drop your head, no need to look up at the screen. Hang out here for another breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Pull that belly button back into the spine and let's roll it up nice and slow. One vertebrae at a time. Oh, I got a nice crack there. And roll those shoulders all the way down and back. Sitting up nice and tall. Take that neck or your head. We're gonna turn it all the way over to the side, feeling a beautiful stretch all the way down the side of our neck. Again, shoulders are pressed down and back. Let's come back to center. Other side. Releasing any tension there. Back to center. And finally, one more big cleansing breath in. And exhale out. I hope you feel amazing. I know I do. Good work today. Let me know what you thought about this new routine in the comments. I love to read your comments. I always respond. Give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. It really helps grow my business. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.